Hello everyone, this is my second devlog on my steampunk bullet hell style game. Something I didn't show in my first devlog is more of the stuff that I've done. So I set up a uh, an everything class and I'm going to host the game. Here I am in the game. For the movement we have for our player, it's a uh, third person game. Forward, back, left and right. We got all that. When we move the camera, the player moves along with it. You can aim in, aim out. Depending on if you're aiming in or out, your shot will be more accurate. And the setting can be set on the guns. We have a dash, forward, back, left, right. And we have a, what I, I call a shift. You press shift. You go into this weird state of being invincible. <laughs> Your body parts kind of phase through the world. <laughs> and you are invincible during this state, so no one can shoot you. You can go through bullets like that. I've got animations for most of the weapons, and some of the weapons are, don't have models for them, so they're just cubes. Here's the pistol. The second gun I have is a shotgun. Now this has a little bit of issue because it is a single particle system shooting, which means that it can be a little too random for the server to client. The client doesn't see exactly where all the particles are. They only know the initial state of the particles. I have a sniper rifle, it's a one shot. It's pretty quick, it does a lot of damage. Here's a silly gun I had. It's just to test out some things I wanted to do with weapons, see how far I can go with what weapons do. This guy shoots, and if you get hit by the bullet, you get pushed up into the air. All right, our next gun, or a weapon, <laughs> is the sword. So we got a melee sword. I thought it would be kind of cool to slash forward uh, with some particle effects. It does quite a lot of damage. It's pretty overpowered. The player is invincible during this <laughs> attack, so he can be invincible for quite some time. Next up, we have our machine gun. No model for this guy, but just setting up a way to hold the button down and keep firing. All right, and last but not least, we have a s another sword. I was testing out combos, so press once, press again, press a third time. You do different animations um, at the start of the animation. This animation is pretty, pretty gross. I silly put together. I don't have anything set in stone. Uh, just, just making a combo for it. That's all. Works out pretty well. Some more recent updates I've done to this game is I added jump pads. So now we've got a pad that, well, <laughs> bounces up into the air. <laughs> pretty simple as that. I thought it would be a little fun thing to do to add some vertical this to the game. Uh, obviously I need more of it around here. Another thing I added to the game is teams. Teams and a scoreboard. This uh, this was a uh, pain in the rear to get <laughs> working. I'm not the best at using uh, Mirrors API so I really have to kind of grind my gears when I, when I uh, write this code for um, the game. I've also added hats into the game. We can now change and customize our character, although we only have a cap and a fez. All right, so here I am in the game. I've joined on a separate client here, and it's just another game window. I'm able to move around on this guy as well. So we have multiplayer working. If I move on this client here, all the way over, our spawn points are a little split up. That's on purpose, obviously. And here I am, Hugh. I can actually push around the other player. I don't know if I'll keep that. I might take that out. It's a little fun, the chaoticness of it. As you can see, we can have both players on the scoreboard. And if I were to go to kill this guy here, let's, let's get him down on the ground. And let's see, we have a new death for our one of our players. Future things I have planned for this game are emotes and game modes. 
emotes obviously I want the players to be able to interact with each other so I'm going to be making a system similar to Fortnite, Team Fortress 2, uh, basically any <laughs> AAA title game that's a large multiplayer game nowadays uses uh, emotes so we're going to add them into the game. I obviously already have some movement into the game. There's no user input to that. I need to add that. And the second thing would be game modes. So deathmatch is fun, but obviously deathmatch isn't the only game mode we have in our FPS genre. We have capture the flag, control point, king of the hill, all those types of game modes I'd like to add. But obviously I need to make maps for those. So that's a that's a whole process of um, getting things ready and done. I still need to really work on the systems I have right now because they're pretty spaghetti code. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This has been my second devlog. I hope you enjoyed and are excited for the progress of this game.